What's oh what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another great video here at my channel. And today we're gonna be working on a little minor adjustment that we didn't really work on on Nick G. Uh, as you guys heard early in the last video, we did an engine swap, but we have a couple kinks to fix, and one of those kinks is the crankshaft sensor. Uh, when he starts his car, it takes longer than usual, like a regular car to start. So we're gonna go ahead and do some diagnostic. Well, we've already done some diagnostic, and one of the keys is the bolt we used was not a ground bolt where it can interact with the sensor and pretty much the car wasn't reading the sensor. So he bought a new sensor at Z1. Seems their sensor didn't work with the new ground bolt. So it would start immediately, but would put itself in lip mode where we couldn't drive it. So now we're about to give you guys pretty much a rundown of how it starts in a couple seconds. Now, if you're having the code, uh, is it P0035? P0335. P0335, this is the code that is caused by, and related by the crankshaft sensor. We're gonna show you where it's located and how to remove it and how to put a new one in. So, if you do the honors, Nick. the car's been pretty much starting for the last couple of days since the engine swap <clears throat> so now we're gonna go ahead jack this car up and show you and try to figure out if we can fix the problem also if you're new to the channel uh, make sure you go ahead and subscribe we post a lot of good content as for example uh, engine swap bro like we're idiots if we did engine swap like come on now that's crazy right so and if you're not new to this channel if you like this video make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let me go get a jack stand because we're not gonna work on this with just a jack. Yeah, all you guys are gonna get very upset. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. The noise suspicious. It's normal. Yeah. You think I can get under it from there? Hmm? I, I think I could be able to get under it. Oh. <laughs> This right here, or under the transmission on the left side, if I can get this thing to focus. This right here that I'm at is the sensor. I think we bought this from Z1. As you can see, this is really bright looking, unlike these other ones that are kind of dirty, these other boats. This is the new boat that we bought. Probably misplaced the old one when we did the engine swab removing it and whatnot. So, this is it. I'm about to remove it. All you need is a tin and lefty loosey. I'll be tight, so taking it off, we're going to go to the left. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record this, but I'm gonna put this in here and we're gonna get to work. So yeah, you guys will see it once we. All right, now that the boat's gone, this will pretty much come right out. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Elite Z1s. So. Now you just have to disconnect it from here. See if I can do this with one hand. Uh, probably not. Let's go put the camera down. Press this right here. And it'll fly right out. Let's see if I can uh, get this right. I cut them. Boom. And it's out. Let's put in the old one. What we're going to do right now is put in the old one and see if it starts up. For real? Hey, don't tell him that though. Ha! <laughs> Insider. The camera, bro. The fans, the YouTubers. Alright, so the boat's sit there with the old one. Where's the. Did I give you the other one? So, we're gonna go ahead and try to start and see what happens. So, yeah. Catch y'all. Alright, about to start it again. Starts instantly, but it does that. That's 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so we weren't able to find out the problem. We tried methods by putting it in the old. I can't even record. That's the crazy part. You going? Yeah. In a second, let me get in my car. They they playing. They about to leave me. But um. Pretty much couldn't find out the problem. Pretty much tried to find out the problem for our check engine light and pretty much did not find it. So if you guys have any solution as to why when we're changing our crankshaft to the new one slash the old one, it takes a long time to start when it's not connected, but when we connect it starts right up, but the car is in limp mode and pretty much stalls out, please let us know. That would be greatly greatly appreciate it and i don't know why i just realized my camera's on manual but thanks for watching the videos hope you guys subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace out from me and luke and everybody else peace this is a happy end cause you don't understand everything you have done Everything so wrong This is a happy end